Kampf Nummer 2 nach WLÖF Reglement in der Klasse bis 55 Kilo. Drei Runden, A, drei Minuten. Welcome in the blue corner. Welcome in the red corner. Ich darf Ihnen beide Kämpferinnen vorstellen. Der Gast in der blauen Ecke, 23 Jahre alt, 1,63 Meter groß, äh, gewogen mit 54,7 Kilogramm. Sie wird betreut durch Herr Zhao. Äh, bisher ungeschlagen. Elf Kämpfe, elf Siege. Einen beenden Sie vorzeitig durch Knockout vom äh, Team Wulingfeng in China. Xu Xurong! Hier gegenüber in der roten Ecke, 27 Jahre alt, 1,63 Meter groß, ebenfalls gewogen mit 54,7 Kilogramm. Okay, so we're back here now for the second fight. And we've got Miriam Müsler from Exciting Gym. Bisher 48 Kämpfe, 49 Siege, 14 Bands, die vorzeitig durch Knockout. Sie ist siebenfacher Europameister in den Mäuern 3. Sie ist eine sehr schöne Dreifacher-Weltmeisterin, Nachversion des IMC, der WKM und der WKM. Sie ist eine sehr schöne Dreifacher-Weltmeisterin, der WKM. Der Bond of Woolly Fame. Vom X-Side-Stimm und so wie dem Team Gladiator aus Drittau. Mayer Uslu! So we've got Tobias back with us now. Yeah, yes. Now it works better. <laughs> Good stuff. We had some technical difficulties earlier. Tobias couldn't hear me. All right, so we've got Miriam here and Zhu Shilong from China. Uh, Miriam's a local fighter from uh, Germany. Yeah, and last year Miriam won the WLF World Championship title. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, and very good. But I think uh, the Chinese girl is very impressive. Oh, 11 lovely fights, cheap front kick. 11 the, wins. Yeah, lovely front kick to the face. Left her foot up there a little bit too long, so got a sweep down from the Chinese fighter. So Miriam is the current world champion here for the WLF. So I can see that uh, Zhu Shidong is looking for the throws and push, push downs. And this is you know, a very particular speciality within the Chinese uh, Sancho, where they like to pick and throw an awful lot where they can. Um, demoralize their opponent by constantly putting them on the mat if they can, put them down on the bottom of the ring. Just after a few seconds I can say that's a better fight than last year because last year the opponent from Mayim, she fights dirty. She fights dirty. Cheap shots, some headbutts. Oh, this is not good. Right, okay, this is the girl fighting Miriam, yeah. Yeah, going up for a nice big headshot there. Yeah, nice deep front kicks from Miriam, yeah. using good classic Thai techniques. And Miriam's very clever. She she covers up very well, lets the Chinese fighter run in and then just try and pick her off from there. And Miriam is a complete fighter. I mean, she, uh, she shows us low kicks, kick. boxing combinations. And the Chinese girl, is she's waiting a little bit too long. Yeah, 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 I agree. A little bit slow to pick up there. She's yeah. looking for the counter all the time. You can see the Chinese fighter leaving her left hand down there. She's either trying to check the kick or pick it up where she can get the sweeps in, which again is a speciality from the Sancho. Uh, but she's looking just to hit, land that big heavy right all the time. Yeah. Oh, nice front yeah. from Miriam. She, she is open uh, because the left is, is not high, high enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Nice knees there from Miriam. 
10 Sekunden oben bleiben. Ey! Und wieder unten. Ey! Hey! Ende der ersten Runde. So, the end of the first round there. Miriam just looks to be working a little bit harder and uh, setting up those uh, headshots and setting up those leg body kicks and checking in there a little bit quicker than the uh, Chinese fighter. So we're back in now, round two. The Chinese fighter's got her nose plugged there where she's obviously been bleeding a little bit. And uh, coming out a little bit more feisty this round. Oh, a bit of a nasty low knee to the spine there, which I uh, don't like to see. It might have just been off the turn, though. Nice work from Miriam there. The Chinese fight is just, uh, she's just waiting too much for that big knockout shot by loads of things. I mean, a knockout, if, it co if a knockout comes, it comes. Yeah, yeah. It comes from work, not just waiting. Yeah. Oh. Nice work there from Miriam, knocked down then and followed through with an accidental knee. But Chinese fighters straight back up, come on, bring it in. Nice knee from Miriam. Nice knee to the body. See the Chinese fighters going in there a little bit with the head now. We can see that. She's yes. getting tired, she's getting frustrated, she's starting to use the head a little bit. You can see that going in. I think uh, Miriam, if she keeps her elbows up and waits for the uh, Chinese fighter to run onto the elbow, she'll only do that once or twice. And soon stop. Because it's also important uh, for the audience uh, that uh, when we announce the fighters uh, for the ch uh, Chinese team, you have only the fight they make under WLF and not the whole fight. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Zhu has now 11 fights, but I think it will be uh, a little bit more yeah. than, 10, 11 fights. Yeah. 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 But I think it's going for Merim, I think. What do you mean? I think, I think you know, uh, round one, first round, definitely to Miriam. Um, Chinese fighters coming back a little bit strong now. Uh, they both had a knockdown or a push down in this, uh, in this round here. Um, Miriam looks like her work rate slowing down a little bit and the Chinese fighters picking up. But it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it seems to be... Ende der zweiten Runde. Betreuer wieder aus dem Ring. So we're into the third and final round. Now. The dritte und letzte Runde, Round 3. Und 
So back in round three, a nice, so uh, lovely face, cheap there, tie kick, front kick to uh, the Chinese fighter's face from Miriam. Nice right cross, good heavy punch there from Xu Zhantong. So we definitely see the difference in workflow and style here between Miriam and the Chinese fighter. You can see Miriam's tie work um, coming into play an awful lot. It's always different uh, if fighters coming from China to Europe mm. and the style from Europe is uh, another for, uh, than uh, style from China. Both starting to look a little bit tired now, but uh, I've been working pretty consistently all the way through. Oh. Yeah, the Chinese fighter using the front kick very effectively there. Miriam straight in. Good left right cross combination. Getting a little bit messy now, a bit scrappy. But uh, yeah, to be expected after two and a half, three minute rounds. Yeah, now this is the Sancho uh, you'll see from the Chinese fighters she's using that side kick. You can see her picking it up. It looks like a front kick and she shoots it out. Yeah. And I'm surprised that she hasn't used it as much as she is now in the earlier rounds. I think she must do more to win this fight. I think, I think it will, will be in favor uh, for Mayam, but you never know what judges are doing. That's true, that's true. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's all in the lap of the judges or the lap of the gods, if you see. But yeah, I, I think that uh, Miriam's work rate consistently through the rounds has been just that little bit harder and uh, you know, uh, you know, when, when, when I was traveled to Dubai to Glory 20 the supervisor uh, told us and I told to the fighters don't leave it into the hand of the judges yeah make sure that it's uh, no choice yeah make sure you win and then it's come first Okay, and that's the end of the uh, uh, title bout there. So we'll just wait for the judge's decision. But I think the, it's going to lean in the favour of Miriam here. So we're here the now. The Kampfrichter has decided to nach Punkten. The Kämpferin aus der Roten Ecke! And still, WF World Champion here, Uslu!